It's you. Oh, and you. Hello, you. First, I was afraid, I was petrified. I did a karaoke song, I know I would have died. But I spent so many nights thinking how it could go wrong. So all day long, I tried to learn this bloody song, but I went back to that place. And I know I had a very scared expression on my face. I should have learned the words, I sung it in a different key. If I'd known just one second, just that crap that I would be. But off I go to hit the floor. I have never ever sung a karaoke song before, but at least I know I tried. And I shouldn't be surprised What I needed was a lot more vodka Red Bull inside So that is why it went awry As long as I am not half pissed I know that I will not survive My timing is so crap And I sing when I sing to backing tracks I won't survive The end is nigh So I said goodbye oh, Thought we'd start with a bit of disco uh, you know, hope you had your sandbags on the floor. Hmm. Okay, so let's do the usual rules. Um, you type things, and and I love them, and and occasionally I will acknowledge them. Um, uh, everything's the wrong way round because I think I explained in the last show. I'm in South London, so wherever you are, you see things differently, like the moon upside down in the southern hemisphere. That's how that works. And the other thing people have said is sometimes the, uh, that looks like the Wi-Fi has gone wrong and you kind of freeze and, or you lose sound. Well, that's, that's deliberate. Um, that's all to give this kind of virtual gig thing or authenticity. Because um, uh, it's not like a live gig where you get applause. Well, for my gigs I don't get applause, but you normally get live gigs. So I see lots of clapping and hearts or sometimes grumpy faces like they do for Donald Trump things. Anyway. Uh, so that's it really, um, oh, and thank you Graham for letting me do this, I kind of always think I forget to mention him, because if it wasn't for him I wouldn't be here, Graham Steele, he's a uh, great promoter, he's doing loads and loads of gigs, uh, check them all out, uh, they're all good fun, and so apart from this one of course, kind of lets me get away with this. Well didn't we have a wonderful day, the day we went to Durham, 
a beautiful day we drove all the way just under 300 miles it was we went to the castle and all of you assholes believe me when i told the story i should not have done it but i don't give a shit cuz i'm in charge la 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 well i sat in the garden bank holiday monday and answered some of your questions you may think i'm evil a bit of a weasel but i'm still smarter than boris you know well, I'm not resigning, he's too scared to sack me, and that's the end of the story. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, you can go home now. La 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 la. Well, do as I say and not as I do, cos I am running the country. I've mastered the art of the rose tinted fart and telling you all how great we are. It's one for you, another for me, and that's just how I test my eyesight with a steely-eyed stare that makes you all scared as I lied to you. La 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 Yeah, didn't we have a wonderful time the day we went to Durham? A beautiful day we drove all the way, just under 300 miles it was. Despite all the mess and all the bad press, I won't be self-isolating. Cos I am the boss and I don't give a toss. And that is that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, gosh. Uh, oh, let's say hello to people. Hello, Linda. Hello, Peter. Um, yeah, the only two I can see. I think I saw Jen earlier. Yeah, hello, Jen. Saw Pat. Hello, Pat. Hello, Ruth. I remember seeing those names come through. Okay, we're going to do two songs. Well, no, it's, it's kind of like two songs joined together. Uh, one is about old technology and one is about new technology. Um, but rather than doing as two separate songs, I thought I'd melange them together in a beautiful key change that anybody who's ever watched Eurovision Hong Kong just will, will know exactly what I mean. So rather than just stopping starting the other one, this gorgeous, gorgeous, sumptuous key change which will make you feel all warm and cuddly. Um, but so one's about old technology, one's about new technology. <laughs> Remember how it used to be Before the new technology People said, oh my god And didn't say, OMG We kept our photos in a cupboard And not up in some cloud And nobody said, lol They simply laughed out loud We may have had a secret code But it wasn't called a pin and wireless was just a radio that you didn't have to plug in a tweet was a noise your budgie made a lie down was not a chillax and if you happened to be hacked you'd probably been hit with an axe well a pirate was a sailor who terrorized the seas not some kid in a hoodie downloading dvds a mouse was a rodent a bug was a fly a friend was a mate and Yahoo was just a cry. Well, we never used emoticons to display an emotion. I can't read the words very well because um, I can't remember them, but I'm doing my best. To cut and paste, you needed glue. To surf, you needed an ocean. Well, if you can't remember life before this social media, Get your iPhones and your Androids out, look it up on Wikipedia. You remember how life used to be before the new technology? The only spin was done with a spindle and firewood was the only Kindle. Yeah, remember how life used to be before the new technology? All a phone would do was ring and Google wasn't even a thing. I've got a magic gadget, it's shiny and it's new. There is nothing that my magic gadget cannot do. I point it at the telly and it turns on my TV. I point it at the kettle and it makes a cup of tea. It turns on the microwave and the deep fat fryer. 
It checks my fridge and freezer for the shopping I require. It drives the car, restocks the bar, does the lawn and the weeds, my washing and the ironing, all my laundry needs. It cures my ills and pays my bills, write emails I must send. It's infrared, it's good in bed, it's more than my dearest friend. My white goods are redundant. My gadgets have taken, my gadget has taken its place. <laughs> With Google, YouTube, Spotify, Amazon, Netflix, Track and Trace. But there were times, I'm sure you knew. There were things my gadget wouldn't do. And when it failed and caused me pain, I turned it off and on again. And just for me, it's my 5G. It came from Huawei. Yep. Whole song just for that little gag at the end there. What a waste of time, eh? Who else have we got? Christine. Hello, Christine. It was a seamless key change, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's my favourite bit of the whole song, actually. So, uh... Right. There's a white man van who writes poetry. There's a white van man who's gay. There's a white van man who gives to charity. But he's not the one I want to talk about today. Cos he's a white man in a white van. Giving me the white man, white van blues. He's a plasterer's mate, he paints and decorates. He's a man of many tattoos. He likes to go to the football. He likes to go to the pub. He's got a dog called Tyson. He's got a girlfriend in the club. He wears a hoodie and a tracksuit and a nice pair of Nike trainers. Don't mention Brexit, I don't think he's one of them Remainers. Cos he's a white man in a white van, giving me the white man white van blues. He's a plasterer's mate, he paints and decorates. He's a man of many tattoos. For breakfast he has a Mars bar and some crisps, a ciggy and a can of Red Bull. Don't cut him up at the traffic lights or you'll get a rude mouthful. He's a white van man, he's a West Ham fan, he's got no O levels or degrees. He likes to get pissed on a Friday night, but on Saturday have a Chinese. But he painted my shit and he mended my roof and he told me some good dirty jokes. He loves his mum and his baby sister, turns out he's a really nice bloke. He's had a rough ride, his old man is inside, but he works hard for an honest day's pay. He honked his white van, hooter at me, as he waved and drove away. Cos he's a white man, in a white van, sometimes you don't get to choose. He's a plasterer's mate, he paints and decorates, he's a man of many tattoos. Yeah, he's a white man, in a white van, Sometimes you don't get to choose. He's a paints and decorates, and he's one of my mates. He's a man of many tattoos. There you go. There you go. Hi, Fiona. Nice to see you. How's your leg? Poor Fiona's broken her ankle. And, uh, yeah, poor girl. Um, what are we going to do now? Oh yeah, oh yes. Um, hang on a minute, I'll just check my list. I'm going to read you some poetry, okay? <laughs> Never done this before. Well, not here, I haven't. Uh, now the reason I'm doing this is because I can't remember how the song goes. Simple as that. This is a, so this is a poem about the summer. Uh, all the nice weather we've had and we'll get some back again. This is about a thing that happens in the summer sometimes. Norman from Newport, a retired civil servant, had an unblemished career. 
He served the service not one day off sick for almost 45 years. He helped with community projects and charities to which he'd donate. He committed no crime, all bills paid on time, not even a library book late. But the one thing, alas, that defined him, the thing that his loved ones won't mention, the thing that transpired once he'd retired when he collected his pension, the shame brought upon his family members, the worst of all possible scandals. Norman from Newport, retired civil servant, always wore socks with his sandals. Sartorial suicide, they called it. The neighbours all whispered and scorned, through twitching curtains they'd spy as Norman walked by with feet inappropriately adorned. His family considered an honour killing to somehow suppress the shame, how the brash, indiscreet, sock-sandaled feet had tarnished the family name. But Norman from Newport, retired civil servant, was principled and proud. He ignored when he'd get yet another death threat. He scoffed at the jeers of the crowd. But wait, what's this? A new trend has emerged for a knee to ankle only tan. Exclusive designs are being refined on the catwalks of Rome and Milan. Along with outlandish frocks, bizarre and bohemian locks, outrageous and orthodox, you guessed it, sandals with socks. Now for any occasion there's a new shoe invasion. You no longer put what you like on. You know what's coming. Norman from Newport, retired civil servant, was now the new fashion icon. Now kids everywhere only will wear sandals with socks and with it a t-shirt and on it emblazoned. Norman from Newport, he rocks. True story. Uh, oh, no, oh, yes. This probably won't stay in tune for the whole time, but I'll blame that. List, bucket list, things not done, things I missed. Chuck it on my bucket list before I kick the bucket. I want to score a goal at Wembley Stadium. I want to sing a song at London Palladium. I'd love to have a wine bar with a jazz bar in the cellar. I'd love to have a jacuzzi with Nigella. Bucket list, a bucket list, things not done and things I miss. Chuck it on my bucket list before I kick the bucket. I'd love to see the Tractor Boys win just one more cup final. I'd love to own my top ten albums once again on vinyl. I'd like to ride a Harley up to Frisco dressed in leather. I'd like to have a jacuzzi with that Carol who does the weather. Oh, bucket list, a bucket list, things not done, things I missed. Chuck it on my bucket list before I kick the bucket. I'd like to go backstage after seeing my favourite band's show. I'd like to meet someone who can teach the bloody banjo. I'd like to have a cup of coffee with Barack Obama. I'd love to have a jacuzzi with the whole of Banana Rama. Oh, bucket list, bucket list, things not done, things I missed. Chuck it on my bucket list before I kick the bucket. I'd normally be a banjo solo here, but I can't play the bloody thing. But I just talk it through. But right now, during lockdown, top of my bucket list is to go to a pub and get, you know what I mean. I'd like to see my friends and not just on a video call. I'd like to have a jacuzzi with anyone at all. Oh, bucket list, bucket list, things not done and things I miss. Chuck it on my bucket list before I kick the bucket, before I kick the bucket and say, well. Oh. There you go. That's my uh, alternative instrumentation done for the evening. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about the cough. Existing condition. Mm. What next? Okay. He's out there. Hi Graham. Thank you. Um, 
Okay, uh, now we're going to get into controversial territory. We like to be. This is a song about religion. Mm. But it's a positive song about religion. What I've tried to do this in this one is to involve all the major religions in the chorus. So there's a bit of Christianity, a bit of Islam, a bit of Hinduism, and a bit of uh, Cockney nonsense. Uh, and then when I can't think of anything to say, I go na 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 na, as all the best songs do. So here we go. It's called When Allah and Jesus Went Drinking. Well, Allah and Jesus were mates. They often went for a drink. Jesus would drink his homemade red wine. Allah normally had a soft drink. Together they'd put the world to rights. Swap philosophical tips. Sometimes Buddha would join them for a beer and a pie and some chips. And they all went, Alu Akbar, Hallelujah, Hare Krishna, as your father. They went, na 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 And they all just got along fine. Well, Shiva and all of these Hindu chums went for a curry at the Taj Mahal with the Catholics and the Jews and anyone you choose for some bhajis and a nice takadar and sometimes they'd sit and tell stories until way up the dark Allah told the one about the 37 virgins Jesus told the one about the ark and they all went Allah Akbar Hallelujah Hare Krishna How's your father? They went na 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 And they all just got along fine Well Shiva said the one about the bloke with the head of an elephant And the woman with eighteen arms Yeah Jesus said the one about Adam and Eve And how he was born in a barn They'd stay up all night until breakfast Laughing till their sides were aching just for a laugh, Allah and David pretended that they didn't like bacon, and they all went, Alu Akbar, Hallelujah, Hare Krishna, as your father, they went, na 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 na, and they all just got along fine. Well, Allah and Jesus went drinking every Friday afternoon. Shiva and Buddha and David together in the holy with the spoons. There were no fatwas, no thunderbolts, no genocide and no fights. Just some Muslims and some Hindus and some Christians and some atheists, even a few Jedi Knights. And they all went, Allahu Akbar, Hallelujah, Hare Krishna, may the force be with you. They went, na 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 all just got along fine. Well, wouldn't it be such a wonderful thing? Maybe it's just wishful thinking that somewhere there lies a hidden scripture about when Allah and Jesus went drinking and they all went Allah Akbar, Hallelujah, Hare Krishna, as your father they went na 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 and they all just got along fine. Yeah, be nice, wouldn't it? How are we doing for time? Oh, blimey. Let me crack on. Um, Shall we do this one? Well, uh, just looking at the top. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. Okay. Oh, no, it's falling over the place. Sorry I'm having to read the words, but uh, I don't have a memory anymore. Uh, oh, hello, some more hellos. Hello, Martin. Did I see Venetia's on there? Did I see that? Put me off, actually. Hi, Nishi. Hope you're okay. All right. Um, and now the news. Well, if you're in or if you're out, if you're left or if you're right, if you're only halfway in between, or if you couldn't 
give a shite But if you never watch the news Or if you watch it every day One thing is for certain It just won't go away Oh, the news Gives me the blues Whatever news That I choose It's doggy doos It's number twos I stand accused I hate the news Well, I used to be engaged in all current affairs I used to want a better world I really used to care But everything is crazy now It really is absurd It happened about four years ago on June the 23rd Oh, I hate the news Gives me the blues I just refuse Watch the news. I hate the news and those interviews. I stand accused. I hate the news. Well, we can't agree on COVID plans and who there is to blame or how we fix our greedy, selfish, self serving shame. Our kids are gonna suffer and their kids even more. And all the Daily Mail ever talks about is how we won the war. I hate the news, gives me the blues. Oh, please excuse me from the news. I'd rather snooze in public lose. I stand accused. I hate the news. Well, I watch the wealthy whinging, not wanting to pay tax. But they're the first to moan when their services are axed. There's fascists running Hungary, Turkey and Brazil. And do I have to mention him up on Capitol? Oh, I hate the news. Gives me the blues. I'm sure you knew that we're all screwed. When Laura Coonsberg greets the news, I stand the I hate the news, all the news Gives me the blues Hashtag me too And Prince Andrew And now coronavirus too Nearly over there I stand with you I hate the news I'd rather smooth With kangaroos I stand with you I hate the news. <coughs> well, there you go. Right, okay, I think we're going to be good. Time wise. Who else is out there? Philippa. Yo. Hi, Philippa. Jen wants me to yodel. I wish I could. I love yodeling. I've got lots of yodeling albums. Please let me know if you want to hear some, because they're fantastic. Mmm. Oh, this is nice. Brian, how are you, mate? Wow. Good old Brian. He is a brilliant singer and an amazing guitarist. And he helped me with a song once that I'd written. And uh, it's on YouTube. Um, I'm singing a song. I forget what it's called now. Uh, but Brian plays guitar and it's, it's gorgeous. And I've always been grateful for him for that. Right. Uh, here's a song that I wrote years and years and years and years ago. Um... um when I was in my 20s, and it reflects what life was like when I was in my 20s. It's a bit messy, but you know, you'll, you'll get it. But then recently I wrote a new verse just to kind of span the years, make it more contemporary. Well, Sunday morning comes around, I wonder where you are. You wonder where you are. I'll start again, shall we? <laughs> Do that a lot, actually. Well, Sunday morning comes around, you wonder where you are. You can't remember getting home or where you left your car. The last thing you remember is getting thrown out of that bar. You crawl out of the sack and your coffee is black with aspirins. Hunt round for a cigarette, you haven't got a light. And the smell of frying eggs and bacon doesn't help your plight. Well, was it good or was it not? You remember all the jokes that you forgot. Everyone gets them, and you've got them. Then Sunday morning after blues, there's a phone number in your pocket. 
You think her name was Sue? I like your fab, you should never have had this take an effect on you. You crawl up to the bathroom, but there's someone else in the loo. Oh, hurry up, mate. I don't think I could wait much longer. Bang your head on the end of the bed. Trip over the cat. Say you're never, ever, ever gonna get like that again. But everyone says that. Shall I call a doctor? Shall I call a hearse? Tomorrow is Monday, that makes things worse. Everyone gets them, and you've got them them Sunday morning after blues. Well, Sunday morning comes around. It's 40 years since then. I got grown up kids out of marriage, and a whole lifetime since then. And then I ask myself, would I do this all again? Well, some I would and some not. But it's not an option that I've got. So I just wander in the kitchen, put the kettle on, and I hear a radio playing a song from 1981. Well, back then I was young and free. Now I'm old with a dodgy knee. Everyone gets them, you got them. And Sunday morning after, boo, 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 boo. Them Sunday morning after blues. Oh, good. Is that Joe House Rock? Yeah. Anyway, oh, perfect timing. Look at this. I'm one minute over time. Uh, oh, I've got another one here, haven't I? I was going to do that. Um, I have to ask Graham, really. Do you want? To, what do you want? One more or two more? Uh, let's have a quick slurp. Uh. Oh, it's not very long. The second, the last one is very short. So, uh, okay. Hi, Martin. Um, I've never ever sung this before to anybody, ever. <laughs> and it's about the... Um, uh, the thing we say, you know, we've all had tragedies in our life. We've all had them. It happens all the time. Um, we've all experienced it, you know, grief and stuff and big things. And there's a lot of crap going on at the moment. But mainly our problems are what we call first world problems. And uh, so uh, that's what this song's called. Um, it's a bit flippant, but I'm only doing this for laughs anyway. In Africa, there are children with no shoes upon their feet. In India, there are families living on the street. But listen, I've got first world problems. You must hear about. My Pilates has been canceled and the hummus has run out. First world problems of the first world Famine and war in the third world I can just about afford it in the free world But who can solve my problems in the first world? A barrel bomb landed in a hospital in Aleppo yesterday But I cannot get my Waitrose order delivered till Saturday A school in Gaza has been bombed, several children dead But Tesco has no flour to make my sourdough bread First world problems of the first world Famine and war in the third world I could just about afford it in the free world But who can solve my problems in the first world? Oh, my first world problems My problems, they come first I forgot to chill the Pinot Grigio While villagers die of thirst Women walk a mile or more for, for water for their family and I had to reboot the router because Alexa couldn't answer me. Well, the t-shirt tie combo, combo doesn't quite right. And the avocado isn't quite right. It's an hour before Deliveroo can de deliver me my order. My don't start again. It's an hour before Deliveroo can bring my takeaway. An earthquake in Sri Lanka wipes a thousand homes away. It's a first world problem of the first world. Famine and war in the third world I can just about afford it in the free world But who can solve my problems in the first world We're the lucky buggers in the first world Yay Okay Right And so I want to leave you with this very profound message Regrets. I've had a few. Oh, actually, before I do that, thank you for watching.
um, and putting up with me and I'm sure you have better things to do but uh, but yeah look after yourself regrets I've had a few one or two well worth a mention I messed about at school and I haven't got a pension but I clapped for the NHS and may I say not in a shy way but I got the day all wrong and did it Friday thank you very much indeed ah. Ah. cheerio <clears throat> Take care.